What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler of a video. Before I dive into that, I want to mention a couple things. First off, drop a like on this video if you do enjoy, and second off, check out the channel linked in the description, it's called Geek Heads TV. Go subscribe to them, show them some love, let them know Goblin sent you. They make, you know, videos on gaming companies, gaming stuff in general, you know, some, some interesting facts on there and some other miscellaneous videos so be sure to check them out you know show them some love let them know that your boy goblin sent you but either way hope you guys enjoy this video let's dive into it so edward 40 hands the classic game i assume a lot of you guys watching this video probably know what this is but if you don't it's essentially a game where you know there's there's kind of different ways to play it but the the basis of it is you have two 40 ounces which are beers for those of you who don't know and you can either just hold them and like not put them down or you could tape them to your hands which a lot of people do in this instance i just held them i didn't tape them or you know yeah the, the 40s just have to stay in your hands until you drink them and whoever drinks them the quickest wins you know so this happened a really long time ago almost two years ago back when i was super heavy into drinking the good old 2015 days when i was going on to you know my junior year from sophomore year and I was kicking it with a buddy of mine who we're going to call Billy. Now, Billy at the time had OC. His parents weren't home. They were gone for the weekend. And it was perfect timing to just go over and get fucked up. So I go over there. Billy's there. A couple other people are there. And we're all sitting around. You know, we're smoking a couple blunts. And we're trying to figure out what the move is. You know, what are we going to do to make this night fun? There was no parties. There was no, you know, real crazy shit going on that night. And we didn't just want to sit around smoking weed. So we were like, fuck it, let's get drunk, you know, which was a pretty, pretty normal thing for us at this point. So we're trying to figure out what to get drunk on, you know, do we want hard liquor? Do we want whiskey? Do we want beer? You know, what do we want? And the general consensus was usually beer because, you know, me and my friends are a group of guys who like to kind of kick back and just, in, you know, enjoy a couple beers, you know, not like just slam vodka. I mean, occasionally, you know, occasionally it's the time for that, but this particular day was not the time for that. So, you know, we're over there and we finally decide, let's get some fucking 40s. 40s are cheap as shit, like three bucks for a 40 and it'll get you pretty, pretty decent off 140. You know, two of them will get you nice and drunk. So we each chipped in for some beer. I threw in like 10 bucks. You know, I threw in a little more than I needed to. Everyone else was throwing in some money. It was a good time. There was maybe like four or five of us there. And we had somebody in our friend group who had a fake ID and the fake ID guy we're going to call Chad. So Chad hops in his car. He's got all his money. He goes up to the liquor store and I don't know how his fake ID works. Like it doesn't really look very much like him at all, but it fucking worked. And at the time, Chad was like 17, I'm pretty sure. So he, he did not look 21 and his ID didn't really look like him very much. I mean, it kind of resembled him, but didn't really look like him. So I'm pretty sure it was his brothers. It was either his brothers or like some family member. I don't know. But either way, so he comes back with the 40s and it's a good fucking time. Now, in terms of 40s, they're like an art when you decide which one you want to get. You know, you could get the shitty like Miller High Life 40s or you could get a classic Old English or you could get a Mickey's. You could, you could get a lot of things. In this particular instance, I got two of the Old English 40s. I was like, fuck it. Old English never goes wrong. You know, it just it tastes like soda. Like it barely even tastes like beer, but it gets you fucked up. You know, that's how I like it. So I, I got the 40s. You know, everyone else has got their 40s and we're sitting there and Billy, he's sitting there and he's like, well, why don't we play Edward 40 hands? And I'd, I'd heard legends. I'd heard tales about this game, but I'd never played it. So I was like, let's fucking do it. You know, I was ready. I was almost erect at that point. I was so excited. So, you know, we, we didn't want to like tape it to our hands, but we just agreed that we're not putting the 40s down until we slammed them. Like nobody's putting them down. If you put them down, that's a neck. Like you're a bitch. You get necked for that. And for those of you guys who don't know what that means, it's basically where you get hit on the back of the neck. You know, it's like... For example, like if your homie drops the blunt and you say that's a fucking neck and then your friends call witness, y'all get to neck him. But if he says no witness before you call it, then only the guy who called the neck can, you know, neck him. But either way, you know, basically we're, we're sitting there and we've got our 40s in our hands and we just start immediately. You know, it, it's a nice day out. It was like maybe 4 p.m., 5 p.m., nice and sunny out. It was a really fucking nice day. I remember like so well just sitting in this dude's kitchen and we went out to the patio and we started Edward 40 hands we were just sitting there you know looking at the sky kicking it and we wanted to smoke another blunt so bad but 
we were playing Edward 40 hands. No one's, we didn't have any blunts already rolled up. And even if we did, how would we lift them to our fucking mouth and light it? Like there was no way we'd have to like light the stove, do some crazy shit. It would have been weird. We would have had to like, uh, it would have been something. So, you know, we started and I did not win this game. You know, I, I'm someone who kind of likes to take it a little slower with my drinking unless it's hard liquor. Like if it's beer and I'm like not at a party or anything, I just like to, you know, feed up, take some sips, but I was trying, you know, I, I grabbed my first 40. They were nice and cold. It was so nice. And I just bottoms up completely just started chugging as quick as I could. I downed a good fucking bit of it. You know, I downed maybe a third of it, give or take, put it back down. You know, I, I, I'm not very good at chugging alcohol. Like I can, I can chug a can of beer, but like a whole 40, like, no dude, I'd fucking throw up. I'd die. So, you know, I take a swig of that, you know, give it like maybe 30 seconds, start taking like big sips, not chugs, but just like trying to drink as quick as I can to win this shit. We're all sitting there like looking at each other, like drinking, you know, like laughing and shit because we're all just trying to slam this as quick as we can. And Billy is like, an alcohol animal so billy's actually one who ended up winning the game and you know we're all sitting there drinking maybe like i don't know five or so minutes in first 40 down for me it was probably a little less than five but either way we were we were going as fast as we could like this was rapid fire drinking this was true alcoholism in its purest form you know and I'm on my second 40 here. Billy's already well into his second 40. This guy's a fucking animal because we all wanted to smoke so bad. We were just drinking as quick as we could because, you know, I was talking to Billy while we were waiting for the dude to get back. And he's like, dude, as soon as I, if he was like, if I win this fucking game, I'm smoking a blunt as soon as I'm done. And I was like, dude, I, I'm fucking winning so I can smoke that blunt. Like, fuck you. You know, so we're sitting here slamming it and... I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm slamming as quick as I can. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes in, I downed my second 40. Billy had already been done for a couple minutes before me. I couldn't really like chug or slam the second 40 like I could the first because you know that feeling when you just drink way too fast and you just get that like, that just feeling of shit in your stomach, you know, like you just need to take a breather. That's what I had to do. You know, I I put down my first 40 after I downed it and I was sitting there and I had my second 40 in my hand and... It was fucked, you know, I was just sitting there, and I was just like, wow, you know, my, I'm probably gonna fucking vomit from this, like, I felt like shit, and, you know, I downed my second 40, eventually, it took me almost twice as long as the first, and I was, I believe I was, like, the third one done, out of the five of us, and, you know, I, it was a good effort on my part, it was a good effort, but either way, we all got fucking hammered anyways, so, I finally downed my second 40, we go, we spark some blunts, at this point, I'm feeling nice, you know, and with beer, it, it's... What, what I like about beer is that it's a slow, kind of gradual, like, drunk. Whereas, like, with hard liquor, you just take some shots and you're stupid. With, with beer, it's like, you know, even when you when you do what we did and, like, drink some Edward Forty Hands, I just find the, like, the effects to be smoother when I drink beer. And that's probably just me. Maybe it is just me. But I don't know. I like it better. So, at this point, I'm feeling fucked up. You know, I'm feeling good. It had been maybe like five, ten minutes had passed since we'd finished this game. And we were all sitting there trying to roll our blunts, you know, all sitting there. We rolled up, I think we rolled up three of them, and we were just going to put them in the air and just get the roto going. And I was not having a good time rolling this blunt. I was garbage at rolling blunts. Like, I'd only rolled a couple before, but I was trying it because not only was I drunk, but I also just, I don't know, I, I always wanted to roll blunts. and actually took me a super long time to figure out how to roll a decent one. So eventually... You know, I'd like, I'd gutted the blunt and I hadn't like licked it yet because I was still trying to like get it in the right position. I just gave up. I was just like, can someone else fucking roll this for me? Like, I can't do this, you know? So one of my buddies comes over, rolls the blunt for me. It's a hoot and a holler. And we're outside smoking these blunts and I can just feel myself gradually like getting hit by these 40s, you know, gradually getting drunker as I was standing there smoking this blunt. And on top of that, you know, the high was also getting nicer. I was real fucked up. I was good and crossfaded. And it was at the point where like, I genuinely probably couldn't walk straight. Like if, if I got pulled over and asked me to do the straight line test, there's no way in hell I'd fucking plummet. You know, I would, I'd be walking on the straight line for the first like two steps, then just veer 90 degrees and just walk all the way off the road and into like the fucking ditch. You know, I, I was pretty messed up at this point and as were the rest of us. So we're all kicking it. We had a lot of weed in the function. It was a good time. We had the TV blasting. Excuse me. We had music blasting. We were watching some dumb shit. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> excuse me. I had something in my throat. I'm pretty sure we were watching like cops or some dumb shit. Some show that's like a, a cop spinoff or whatever. But either way, it was about 12. And 
We were sitting there watching it. We were blazed. We were drunk. We were all sorts of fucked up. It was a hoot and a holler. And, you know, it, it was it was very enjoyable. We were all laughing our asses off at the show. And we're sitting there and Billy's like, we need some fucking bitches in here right now. I need to nut. And like, that's exactly how I said it. He's like, I need to bust a fucking nut right now. And I'm like, shit, all right, bro. We'll hit up some girls. Like, what, what you trying to do? And like, he's like, all right, I'll, I'll hit him up. So, you know, we're, we're all going through our phones, like hitting up females. And at this point, like, we were all some low lives, you know, like we, we didn't have hoes. We didn't have girls like that. You know, we had like a couple of girls who would come through and like, you know, get a busting. But like, you know, we, we, for the most part, spent so much time just smoking weed with each other and just getting fucked up with the other dudes that like none of us, I'm pretty sure we were all single at this point, except like one of us, you know, out of the five that were in this building, like none of us were even like getting involved with a female at this point. We were just fucking wasted. And you know, we're all scrolling through our phones, and Billy's like, yo, I, I got one girl, and, like, I'm scrolling through, I'm hitting people up, and I'm like, shit, dude, shit, I can't find anyone, like, fuck, and, you know, I'm, I'm still scrolling through, trying to find, like, who I can get to come over, who, who's gonna get this shit really, really busting, I'm gonna be busting nuts and busting blunts, like, it's gonna be a good time, and, I can't find anyone. At this point, I don't even think anyone else but me and Billy were looking. You know, I think it was just me and Billy on the hunt for the females, you know, on the on the pussy prowl, you know what I'm saying? So, Billy, I finally tell Billy, I'm like, I don't got anybody. And he's like, he's like, dude, we could gangbang this one chick. <laughs> And he was, he was completely fucking serious too. He was like, dude, we could all just run a train on this one bitch right now. And I was like, who? And he says her name and he's like, she's a total fucking whore. And I was like, I know, you know, I knew who this girl was. And I'm like, I'm like, no, no, like, I don't want to run a fucking train. That just sounds weird. Like, I don't know about you guys, but to me, the concept of like one girl getting fucked by like four or five dudes, like being there, that's weird. You know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be in that situation with my homies, you know, like, just no, no, I don't want to do that, so, you know, I'm like, just fuck it, dude, if you want to call over and crack, that's your decision, but I'm not, I'm not running a train on this bitch, I'm not gangbanging this girl, dude, this is not, this is not bang bros, I'm not doing that shit, so, he was like, oh, well, fuck it, he was like, he was like, why not, dude, I mean, I guess I won't call her over, but I'm trying to get it teed in here, bro, let's run a train on a bitch right now, and like, he was, he was so dead set on running a train on this female, it was actually shocking, I, I don't even think he, like, asked her, I think he was just gonna have her show up, and then he was just gonna, like, casually ask her, like, yo, can we all fuck you, like, I don't know what his plan was in this scenario, but I was just like, no, dude, just, just don't do it, like, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't have any interest in running a train on this bitch, so, you know, we're all sitting there, just, like, bored you know no nuts to bust and you know when when you're fucked up the idea at least from a guy's perspective i don't know about females but at least from a guy's perspective when you're fucked up the idea of fucking a bitch is just like unbelievable like the idea of busting a nut is just like cloud nine at that point it's like you're sitting there thinking like damn imagine if this scenario was happening right now but on top of that i was fucking a, a girl you know like how nice would that be that'd be a hoot and a holler so you know, not much else really happened throughout the night. We just kept smoking some blunts. I was surprised that I kept it all down. I honestly expected to vomit. And I'm pretty sure after I finished the second 40, I was damn near close. Like, you know when you, you take a sip of alcohol and you kind of do that thing where you like, you, you just kind of gag a little bit. Like you're like, Ugh, you know, but like you don't quite puke. I did that, you know, like on the, you know, on the bottom of the second 40, you know, when I was, when I was coming in for the home run on that second 40, you know, it was, it was great. So we ended up, you know, just spending the night there, smoking some blunts. We all knocked the fuck out. Next morning, I woke up. Most of us were hungover. I surprisingly wasn't. I don't think Billy was either, but a good portion of us, I'd say about three-fifths, if you want to put it in mathematical terms, were hungover. So either way, it was quite the night. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. And once again, check out Geekheads TV in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.